Okay, this is my spring update. I'm thinking they're getting some food, so let's just uh, get them some food. Give me one second, okay? Okay, let's get them some food. He slept on like an hour ago. And they're still gonna eat it. So, let's do a walkthrough of the pond. So about a month ago, I got some koi. I got about 150 of them. I used to put them in there, but then most of them jump out. Jump out. So here they are, out here swimming around, and they're thinking they also get some food too. So let me give them some food too, okay? So give me one second, let me give me some food. Okay. Here we go. Some of them still, some of the small koi still in there, but I think eventually I will just let them all out. There they are. That's all the small koi that I got. They love to swim in school. Um, no koi death actually, because when I bought them, it's expected about 10, 10 to 20 percent koi death when you receive them, but they all survive. I'm thriving, and then I've got the, uh, the basket net for them, so they can hide from the big koi, so they have a place to hide, and they, they, they spend most of their, their time in this net, in this basket. And here they are. Okay, so let's, see. let's continue. There's two container. This I still grow stuff, so you can. I can let me zoom. Go to underneath here. I think there is a tomato in there. See? It's my Japanese maple. So let's keep on going. I I put this here, so I can always have water. So I use this water to actually water my tropical fruit trees so here are all my tropical fruit trees here is my wava and there are some little um, little flower bulbs already so eventually we'll get some some wava uh, here's an, a, another fruit tree okay so this is my fruit tree so uh, in the spring, I'll take them out for my uh, garage and then bring them out. If they're uh, tropical, they will die. So that's the reason I put this here. And this used the water straight from the pond. So, pond, pond water. I put a lid on top so there's no mosquito to get in. So let's walk through. This is my net, so let's put it here. Okay, so here's the update. Here's the back view of the koi pond. So I have three pumps that's pumping. 
two sump pump that down in the, the bottom of the pond go to this tank here and this tank here. So if you can tell of the level, those two tanks are the highest, okay? And then from there, it's split into two. One will go into here, to this tank here. One will be over here. That pipe will go and then go up to the aquaponic system. And the aquaponic system even helped to clean out the water for my core pond. And then it's the same thing with this. This will split into two. One will go into this tank. One will go into the aquaponic system. From the aquaponic system, this two grow bed here will flow into this two container. And this container is filled with rocks. And then, and then, the water will have to go down to the bottom. And then I have this this uh, six inch pipe here. It go all that's all the way down to the bottom. And then so when for this water, we have to go all the way down, and then it go up from the six inch pipe. And then it come up here. And then it go out here. And then it go out to the waterfall. My two small ones go out from here. So see. To here. So that is an example right there. So both sides is the same. And then this two beds will actually flow into this big beds here. And the concept is the same. It go down and then I have a six inch pipe that go all the way down. So the water will have to go down through the rocks. Then it go up and it go to here. I'm gonna feed into my small fall right here. Okay, that's the same on both sides. The concept is the same on both sides. So as I told you, I have three pumps. Two pumps for the, the, the sun pumps. One pump is for that skimmer. That skimmer, will the pipe will lead to here. And we go to here. And all this here, if, if I touch this, the air is being blocked, but you actually, if you touch it, you actually feel the air being sucked in. So air actually sucked in, mixed with the water, and that will help oxygenate the tank, the, 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 the two tank here. It's, the concept is the same for this one too. So when it comes into here, the water goes to here, it sucks the air in, and you can tell there are bubbles that are actually bubbling up down from the bottom from the bottom of this of this tank here. Because the bottom of this, so this this pipe will actually go all all the way down. And then the water has to go up and here is all rocks. So then it'll go up and it'll go all back to the pond again. Then let's go to the main fall. With this one, because there's two this two pump here, the sump pump, was split, remember? It's split into here. The concept is the same. It has to go all the way down. Let's go, and then it, there's a cap here where I actually hold back all the fish poop and the clean water will actually flow here and then flow back to here. Um, here, it's just a paint strainer. So it actually, when it, when it flow, the paint strainer will actually capture a small particle that is still not being captured by the caps. The caps cannot capture all the the, uh, the fish poop. They capture the big particle, but the small particle, I use the paint strainer. And then once a week, I just clean up the paint strainer and it capture most of my most of my small particle. So both sides are the same. Um, this is my uh, green green uh, green lettuce. I just uh, take a bag of seed and I spray. I just spray it on. I just drop drop it on. And my wife just cut a bunch. Actually, it used to be bushy, like so much, and we cut a whole bag of green lettuce. You can see right there. She when the cutting actually grow back again. So here are my mints. Here is some of my tomato. 
all these plants actually are clippings from those tomatoes on bumbo tank. So I just see if I see like an offshoot, I just uh, pinch it and I just plug it down here, and you can tell there are roots right here. So all this are not actual real tomato. It's actually a clone of that tomato. And whenever I see an offshoot, I just pinch it and just don't do anything at all. I just put down to the ground, to the rocks actually, and eventually it will take roots and then I'll get more tomato plants. More of my mints. Uh, those beds, um, in a month from now, you will be covered with greens. Because uh, right now though, just beginning of spring, beginning of the summer. Um, bought this two plants from um, the store and um, two two uh, two pepper plants and then just put it in and then we'll take care of itself. It will take care of itself. I don't have to do anything at all. The only thing I have to add for this for this system is I have to add iron because in here there's no soil. So you have to uh, supplement with irons to help because um, when your your leaf without iron it will turn yellow with iron it, it turn green become dark green like this so once once a week or so I just take a scoop of iron and, it's, and I put it into that tank there and then it will you know run through the whole the whole system so this is my walkthrough of my update for spring 2019 uh, and in here is the brain of the system. So in here I have a five gallon bucket and um, all my wires, all my power supply is in here. And then see all my line here. Nope, those are the lines. My heron, uh, the Japanese maple, my tomato. And here you can see my 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 son, he actually he plugged he actually got a big tomato right here. He just came by and he's like he's he's two, so he came in the, he came by and he just yanked one out. And there is a bug in here somewhere because it's been eating my leaf. But it's okay if I find it, I kill it. If not, it's fine. Because um, the tomato plant grows so fast and it just gets so big. See the stalk of this. It's huge. It's old. I feel like it's old, but it's actually. I just bought this a month ago. Um, in a in a few weeks or so, I will create a, a skimmer. Um, so I will actually go and take this out, and I'll build two skimmer, one here and one here. And um, so hopefully I'll, I'll get a tip for that one too, for the skimmer I'm about to build. So that's it. That's my spring update so far. And this is the pond so far. I clean out those tank about once a week. And it's really easy to clean out the tank. Um, you just, um, there is a valve. Let me show you. There's a valve right there. I uh, just, you know, it used to be a valve, but now I just use a, a whole a plug. I, I, I take that out. I take a broomstick and I just hit this uh, this cap here because this cap is it floats, so it breaks out all the food poop, the fish poop, and then it just strain out there. It took me about 10, about 10, 10, 15, I think just 10, 10 minutes or so just to clean out this four tank here. And it is dirty. Once a week and you can see like just pure black because it captured the fish poop so well that uh, once once a week, that's all you need. Just uh, uh, get your broomstick and then just uh, up and down, hit this uh, caps here, up and down, and then release all your fish poop and then release the valve and that's it. You're done. You don't have to do anything else and this, system take care of itself pretty much all i do i have to feed the fish uh, clean this out once once a week and it's easy 
and that's the reason I built this because it's easy and it's cheap and then the, the aquaponic system will even clean out more and then I get free fruit uh, free fruits free vegetables um, for the spring summer and fall and here's my apple and that's it guys if you guys have any questions uh, let me know and then uh, if you need more explaining on my uh, my my filter system let me know too and i will be happy to oblige thank you guys bye